Jesus Christ. Welcome to Night City. Chick we're looking for is somewhere in this building. Probably crawling with the pendejos that kidnapped her. Eyes and ears open, all right? Speaking of which, got you a little something. Militech training shard. In case you need to uh, brush up on your dance moves. Down for some target practice in VR? Sure. Sure. I'm Why terrible. The hell not? I'm terrible at shooting. So? Not bad, huh? But now we can get down to biz. Got any tips? Will Kako give you any tips and tricks for the job? I'm not your mother. Just do what I pay you for. It's easy work. Sha. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do this. Follow Jackie. Elevator. Ooh, this is this way. my car? Where are we going, Jack? The rescue. Oh, it's that level! From the 48 minute gameplay. No future. Oh, hell yeah. I'm, I'm in. We get to play that level. Targets Sandra Dorset. Targets Biomon went mute a couple it hours back. Is. Suspected abduction. Target could have possibly flatlined already. Not sure you're in time. We're in time, Bug. We. Sure you're on phones, but that don't make you any less part of this squad. Squad. Charming. Bug, you could at least try to be nice. You want nice, supportive? Call a damn helpline. Got my trusty hand. Okay, I only have one gun. And judging by how <laughs> good I am at Looking fighting, I don't need it. Target handguns. should be inside, but I got zero eyes on her biomass. Fingers crossed, it's not too late. Is that you? Oh, I hate this life or death shit. Hurry, try hacking the door. Think you can trip it on your own, V? No. Let's try. Jackie, you're blocking. Okay, never mind. Oh, I can. I'm a master hacker. No profile. No profile. <sighs> Are we fucking late? Is that her? Is that our target, Pete? And look, titties. Sandra Dorset's protected under Echelon 2 Corpo Immunity. Our girl's top shelf. This one's packing black market Zeta Tech repros. Typical back alley fix ups. Not our lucky gal. Let's keep looking. There's a lot of lootable stuff here. Fine, I'll read the message. What the fuck? Oh my god, so this is her story apparently. How did it happen? Uh, when and why did we as a society decide that human life is a commodity, a luxury? My mother passed away at 45. She still had decades of life to live until it was all stolen from her by common pneumonia. If she had held even the cheapest traumatizing policy, she could have been cured within an hour. But she couldn't afford it. My mother died five months before her scheduled appointment with our family practitioner. The idea of privatized healthcare is deeply ingrained in our public psyche. Already in 2020, oh, that's this year. There was widespread consensus that 500 euro dollars a month was a fair price for trauma team insurance. Health wasn't something you were given, it was something you earned. The private system may not be perfect, but there's no alternative, we thought. Bullshit. Now cross the Pacific Ocean to the USSR, where they also have highly trained medical technicians, high precision nano surgical suits, specialized antibodies. Intravenous probes, the list goes on. Emergency airlifts using modern AVs equipped with cryotonic chambers. They have those too. The difference then? They don't leave their people to die on the streets, at the store, in their homes. They don't force anyone to purchase their lives on from a 
from a corporation as if they're the ones who own it. Public health care isn't some unachievable utopia. It is a reality. Trauma team, on the other hand, treats its policyholders as both potential patients to be treated and potential products to be bought. They save lives only because there is profit in it. A safe life is a returning customer. Client death can also bring in fiscal gains in the form of organ and implant re resale. Though of course in regulated smaller sums, as emergency care provider can't afford to give its managers reason to deliberately kill off its clientele based for short term windfalls. Surely you ask, these medical professionals are also guided by their Hippocratic oaths, please. Man, I feel bad for her now. Back to the game. Sorry, Jack. Mira, eyes up. The nails are hit. Stealth. I'm all about stealth. Non lethal takedown. Well, from the gameplay demo, we had water in that. Take my cactus juice. Definitely needs to be my expertise. Cyberpunk is not gonna be an easy game for me, is it? Not at all. Baby steps, V. Enemies watching. Baby steps, indeed. Cabrones. Thick as locus. Let's wait and plan a spray. Take one down. Did it work? Thanks, Jackie. You're a good man. Come down, let me meet. Probably not the last of them. Move on. Oh, hell yeah, I'm a stealth machine. That's cool. Oh, Jack. That's nice. Oh, hell yeah. Damn, there's a lot of lootable stuff here. And damn, is it loud. Oh wait, we can hack the... Nah, 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 we don't need that anymore.
saw me. Did he? For I ruined the hole. Well, that was easy. Shit, where the hell's our target? Look around, gotta be there somewhere. There we go. New shop, paint editors, I don't need that. You guys can read this if you want. You can pause and read this. That was the easiest boss fight of all time. Yeah, trial and yeah, error. Not my favorite way to roll, but no, but anyway. I have a lot of items on me now. Let's go, Jack. Jesus fucking Christ. I think I got it. Ah, shit, titties. Got our target. We make it? She alive? It looks like it. About to find out. V, Jack into our biomod. Need to know what we're dealing with. Jacking in. This does not look good. Sandra Dorset, NC570442. Trauma Team Platinum. Platinum? Shit. Trauma should have swooped in if she sneezed. Guessing they jammed the transmitter, Sig. Looking at a hacked biomod. From where we can fig or a neurovirus. Carajo, T Bug. You ain't seeing this place. This is tubs, ice, hooks, and cleavers. Hmm. Scott Muncher's hack, huh? Got an idea. Check her neural cord. Find a shard? Yeah, pull it. That'll be what's muting the biomod. Found the shard. Removing now. Check the biomod. Anything changed? Greetings, Sandra. If you are conscious, assume recovery position now. An emergency oh, shit, evacuation titties. unit has been dispatched and is due to arrive at your location in 180 seconds. Biomon claims Trauma will be here in three minutes. Your premium plan will cover 90% of the projected costs of your rescue and treatment. Ay, pobrecita. Let's get her off that ice. Yeah. Oh, fuck. She's flatlined it. Uh oh. B, need to know what's Jackie, going on. Jackie, air hypo. Fuck, this is bad. Hey, catch, Mato. Perfect catch. I think. Holy shit, it worked. Where are Caron? Get her outside. Yeah. We have a big titty on our screen, possibly censored by Danny DeVito. Scav rats abandoning ship. Must have seen drama. Decided to cut their losses. There they are, trauma team. Landing, stand clear. Initiate security protocol. Follow all instructions. Place the patient on the ground. I can't place her. There we go. Five steps back. Now. Oh, fuck you. TT 133 to control. Patient NC 570442 secure. Stimulus being administered. 70 milligrams dopamine. 110 norepinephrine. 800 for venogen. Damn. They came even before 180 seconds, didn't they? Him, nice. Let's get out of here. Elevator gets us to the garage direct. Good work. Shit show's over. You got them right. Cutting my over. wires now. See you in the near future. Listen, Mano. I got this thing. Mind if I borrow your wheels? Hmm. It's okay. I got a day with Misty, but I can't take the metro. How's I gonna look for me? Only if you hanging, Jack. But don't get used to it. You're saving my ass, V. Thank you. How about I drive you home, huh? 
She's all yours. I'm beat as it is. Oh, almost forgot. Should get Wakako on the hollow. Tell her the job's done. She's alive and well. That's what we agreed, isn't it? Splendid. Your payment awaits you. Ready to come and grab whenever you like, even right away. But I guess home is the only place you wish to be now. The NCPD has surrounded Watson. The district is closed. If you're to make it past the cordon, you must move fast. Thanks for the heads up. Swing by to see you later. Words out the NCPD is gonna put Watson on lockdown. If I'm gonna sleep in my own bed tonight, we better put it in fifth. Leave it to me, Mano. I'm driving. The game so far, it's good. The game's good. But there are several visible bugs. I can understand why CD Projekt Red would want to um, delay the game multiple times. I don't even know if I even downloaded the update, you know, for the fixes and all. The gig. Oh boy, Night City. City like any other, just bigger. Nah, man, not just any other city. Morgan Blackhand, Michael Whelan, Adam Smasher, Johnny Silverhand. Are born here. You forgot to mention the best of them all, Johnny. Let's grab a tight bite. What do you say? Jackie, they're locking down Watson. Oh, shit. Right. Is it just me or? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Reload, reload. Come on, quick. Jackie. Oh, double headshot. Reload, come on, come on. Bloody hell, come on. There we go. Scratch your baby up pretty bad. Sorry. It's okay. You can wait. Let's just focus on getting home. Oh, wait, you just. God damn it, my car has holes now. Ah, oh, man. Damn. Out all the stops. Oh, no. What does the lockdown to for the nerdist? Necessary security measures. Officer, ma'am. Sam, are we ever lucky we ran into you? Really? What's it that makes me so special? A uh, heart of gold? Because only somebody with a heart of gold can understand just how much I need to get back to my girl. Your girl? Uh-huh. I'm gonna be worried sick if I don't show I mean, I'm trying to be a stand-up guy. You're giving me a chance. Wait. Mm. That's a shame. Look at him. No model citizen, maybe, but he's a good kid. Let them through, but they don't oh. laugh. Thank you. Okay, on your way. You have a good evening now, officer, ma'am. How oh, would you look at that? They ain't that bad. She 
took a liking to you. Right. I'm loyal, stable in my affections. Mm hmm. And unassuming. You get it. Little China. That was quick. What about you? Not likely to make it back to Haywood now. She'll be. They'll let me through. Sure about that? Oh, yeah. I'll play nice Jackie again. Judging by what we saw here, you better hope that the officer will be a female. Hey, look, the Cyberdong guy. Sweet dreams, then. Wow. Tell Misty I said hi. I will. Hi, luego. See ya, Jack. Level two. What a day. Oh, wait. Elevator ain't gonna turn on. Oh, there we go. Good evening, Night City. My first guest tonight is the bug. Forgot earlier. A runner I know has something you could probably use. Zip in your deeds. Tasty Buck has given you as an important step on the path to. Okay, I couldn't read that. Second guest is Karina Lee, host of the Chip End program. I rather just go home rather than watch corporate television. Can I use this? Oh fuck! Should have wasted my money. Fuck! To buy a Nikola oh, can. So this is my apartment, eh? Gonna have a word with this Could use some work. Oh boy. Three messages. Same shit. I don't drink. Come on. Real water. Now that's something I like to drink. Also, do I already have the Kuroshi optic? Oh, a television. Can't use it apparently. What a weird. Actually, to be honest, I, I kind of like my apartment. Yeah. Ooh. An apartment with Night City in view. The scenery of Night City. Now that's beautiful. That's beautiful indeed. 
let me just stash more weapons. This is me weapon room. I open stash. And there we go. We have lesser weight now. How do I look like? Yeah, figured. Can I get a haircut, by the way? I never thought about that. Getting haircuts and all. Cyber, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty clean. Yep, I am pretty clean. I'm mostly human. The only mod I have is a chip to my head. Ooh, Bill Gates gonna control me now. Alright, I think that's about it. We can end the episode. I just need to go to sleep. All right. Good night, Night City. What the hell? Who sleeps like that? Who the fuck sleeps like that? You have a pillow for a reason. So that's about it for today's episode of Ronald Plays Cyberpunk 2077. Gotta say, I really like the game. Even though we have a little bit of... Um, we have a lot of bugs here. Hopefully they'll get fixed soon. Anyway, leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, hit the notification bell if you have already subscribed, and if you have already done that, thank you very much. Love you to death, and I'll see you guys on the next episode of Ronald Plays Cyberpunk 2077. I'll see you later in Night City. Arrivederci.